figure like my goal of this corridor is if you walk through it and you aren't encouraged to recycle, then I didn't do my job, so. So tonight we are installing graphics in the main cafeteria that was pretty much a project that was kind of a proposal a few years ago, fell by the wayside, and then when I was hired 10 months ago, kind of picked it back up, and yeah, they're here putting a decal up, really encouraging folks to like recycle and kind of making that connection as to like your product, for example, this bottle does not have an end necessarily when you're done using it. So it seems like a very simple thing to recycle, but <laughs> we obviously, you know, struggle as a society in general to do that. So USA Hauling did a great reel essentially of their facility that all of our recycling goes to. USA actually cost shared this program with, with us, which was very exciting. For them to participate in this program is only helping their story as well as a company, which is why, yeah, I'm super excited to partner with them and to have like a hauler that's willing to like have a hand in projects like this is pretty exciting. So yeah, we've got their name up there. Appreciate all the work that they've done and yeah, look forward to, to doing more. I have, a, I have a fun time, fun time with that crew. Like healthcare is kind of always been one of those industries I guess you could call it that all, the focus is always direct patient care no matter what like funding resources the focus is direct patient care and healthcare. so you know sustainability and like greenhouse gas goals none of, none of that's new but healthcare has kind of always been excluded but last year when HHS Health and Human Services released the, the health sector pledge and we decided to sign on to it that was kind of the first time I feel like that the connection was made like hey the impact of healthcare is huge. We account for 9% of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States, and, and we're a huge sector as well. Like, maybe we should think about our impact, not only on our patients and the care we're providing, but then subsequently the environment that our patients live in. That's my job now. Make the connection, get it in people's faces, like I said, in the best way, because I will never forget, someone once told me you have to see something seven times before you actually begin to believe it.